And a good day all of you. Jean Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today from Oscar Blues, the Mutant X IPA. Uh, true story, I started reviewing this and thankfully I had another can. Um, but I started to review this and then all of a sudden the video went kind of long. Um, I had maybe too much data or whatever, too much, didn't have enough space to review to review it, so it kind of went long. I was rambling on and on and on and on about this, but you know. But anyway, uh, so now we're doing another review. This time the review will be not long, I hope. Uh, this is an American IPA from my friends at Oscar Blues, of course, based in Colorado, and they have a brewery in North Carolina, Brevard, or Brevard, Brevard, I'm butchering the name. All right, and one in Austin. Uh, 7% ABV gets a 90 score on Beer Advocate and gets a 3.7 on Untap. The next stage, oh, let's see. All right, we're defining revolutionary IPA technology to extract new dimensions of flavor from hops, creating a futuristic experience, not experience, experience with every goal. Here it is, very flavorful already. I've not been disappointed by anything from Oscar Blues since. Not been disappointed at all. As you can see, nice little, a lot of head retention, as you can see. Great foam, lovely. All this, it is beer, folks. This is beer, just to let you know. So, me futuristic, I'm guessing. I'm. The type of hops they're using, I don't know. I'm maybe sent maybe Centennial, maybe Mosaic, Cascade, Amarillo hops, who knows what type of hops they're using in this IPA, but getting to IPA it out now, but hey. Super concentrated flavor aromas and created by super concentrated hop extract. So mmm. Citrus, definitely aroma right on the news. And, uh, it's aromatic for sure, so. Not too bad. Great scent, so. Anyway, a lot of head retention, significantly so. It was very floral too. So let's have that. Cheers. I'm kind of disappointed I haven't been able to find the 1050 from Oscar Blues. Um, that, because of its location, well, one, the brewery here, was not far, before North Carolina, 1050 would be available. But uh, that's not been the case now, going on year two since I moved up here. 2022, 2021, Christmas time, it was not here, neither was in 2022. 21. So, whatever. Anyway. Really nice, beautiful color, so. Um, kind of good balance, a little bit of hop and the citrus right away. I mean, cutting edge, I mean, to me, it tastes like, so far, like any IPA I've had previously. Um, whether it be the Sweetwater, regular, which tend to be, I think, a little more hoppy, or the Hazy IPA. But this one is kind of similar to what I have, whether it be the Bosun, or Goose. It's nothing really... Futuristic, or as they're saying on the, on the description, revolution on cutting edge. Um, I, don't know. I mean, again, it's just a lot of foam, a lot of head retention, too much, if you ask me. I mean, it's good. But it tastes like another regular IPA that I've had before. 
Oh, what's changed? Not much. Um, it's a good balance. I would say more hop. 51% of hops, 49% of the fruitiness in this. So it's balanced well. But this uh, super concentrated hop extract, I'm not getting that at all. But in any event, um, our Scrub Blues does a, a regular IPA, which I had, um, which was pleasant. I consider these whether it be the session up until it goes to 7 or 8% more session IPAs. Now, if we go from 8 and more, those are the big boy IPAs. And those are the ones that are say, ooh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Um, so, so, I mean, look, clever marketing, I guess, on their part by Oscar, but... Um, I'm not really seeing what's futuristic about it. Again, it looks colorful, looks beautiful, but it's a regular IPA to me. And I've had regular IPAs. Lagunitas from Goose to, I won't say Celebration, that's more a bit stronger. But to me, this is a regular old-fashioned IPA. Whatever they're selling, oh, oh well. And again, many of their beers I've had, um, of course, to me, the 1050 is just a jewel of a stout, imperial stout. I uh, was able to get it when I went to visit my friend in North Carolina, uh, my dear friend D, um, and also I was able to get the Goose Island uh, Bourbon County Stout, but I was not able, 2022 edition, wasn't able to get the, and I said, okay, well, there's 1050, but I can't find the other 1050, nowhere to be found, so, even here, so I don't have to go up to North Carolina, which I'll probably make another trip this summer to see her, see her and her friend again, her mom, wonderful person, just, just cool people. Um... I like the, I guess this is the part of the, from looking at the website, this Mutant X series that they're doing at Oscar, so whatever. Um, what are the bills that they do? The uh, Old Chub, uh, uh, Scotch Heavy, uh, Old Chub, there's Wee Heavy Scotch Ale, which is fabulous. Um, what else I've had from them? Hmm. They do another. Yeah, but just that, the IPA, as I mentioned. Um, they have Pilsner, Mama Yellow Pills. I believe they do that, too. Yeah, they do that as well. Um, and that's it, really. Um, those are the ones that, I, that I'm more familiar with. But again, the 1050, which is phenomenal, and the Barrel Age one, which you know, just can't, can't get here. And hopefully that will change soon enough. Soon, 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 soon. But... Anyway, really good, very enjoyable IPA, and I'm looking at it's just a regular IPA, in my opinion. I don't think this is all this gimmick of super technology, uh, futuristic, you know, half by strokes. It's just like any regular IPA I can get just around the corner here, or any of the Voodoo, the new Belgian Voodoo line, which is their Imperial, their Imperial or their plain Voodoo Ranger IPA. This is, what, this is what it tastes like. It's good. It was enjoyable. But I'm, I'm not looking at it from, from how they describe it. So um, I'm going to go 8.8 .8 for this one. Um, this is a B plus. Really good. Um, a good balance of hops and fruitiness. So I would say, as I mentioned, 51% hops, 49% of that fruitiness. It's not more hops or less less fruit or more fruit less hops so so there you go um so 8.8 .8 for me just like a standard ipa in my opinion so yeah, i'm sure you may find look at it differently but that's just my view of it so there it is 8.8 .8 b plus for the mutant x ipa from our friends at oscar blues sure. all their beers i've had i've been superb and this one's good but 
not what they're describing in my for this one in my opinion but it's still good enough so 8.8 b plus for the Newton x ipa check it out you may like it or you may say eh, way i feel about it hmm. john henderson pierre the beverage travelton keep on watching as always cheers live laughing Whoa. mutant mutants mutants of the world come